No more today. No Wonder more video games. What? You want to do a print this scratch? Yes, but not now. Okay. I want you to learn some things. Okay, something's wrong with my tablet. It's supposed to, like, stop, like, turn off automatically in, like, 30 seconds. Lock screen. Do you notice I'm constantly waiting for you? Yes. But look. Read Just it. Just turn it off. What's the problem? Look. Locks automatically in 5 seconds. But I, I put it for 30. <laughs> It's not a major problem. Yeah, it is. Wait, now would it? Oh! Alright. When your teacher at school talks to you, are all of you tapping the table? No. Stop tapping that, put it away. Don't just drop it. I have a piece of metal there. <laughs> My point, son, is that who teaches you about God? My Sunday school teacher and you. All right, your Sunday school teacher. Does he or she or she get paid? Both he and she. Do they get paid? Yes. They do? Yes. How do you know? Well, I don't know. I think so. I don't think they get paid. However, what about the priest? Yes. I think the priests do receive money. Why does society need a priest to lead others in worship? I don't know. Just to stop. Why? Turn on the other one. Do you have it connected to the same one I have it connected? Yeah. No. You do not. You have it connected to the one that has the lamp. Wait, is it charging? It's not charging. Oh no. Jane Anderson. Great. What does uh, my friend say? It doesn't say. It just says Jane Anderson. All right. Focus on this. Do you have that one connected to the same outlet I have mine connected? Extension cord. Now do. Very well. What? Can you stop moving now? Yes. Why does society need a priest? To teach them about God. Teach who? Teach them about God. What do you mean? He's the one that reads the Bible. To teach them about God. Long ago, there were leaders that could read. But the ones Jesus chose, could they read? No. Not necessarily. I'm not sure if Paul... Paul, yes, because he was one of the... Saul of Tarsus, he was one of the, oh, he was one of the leaders of the church, of the Jews. He was? Yes. Oh, right, Paul is the one that, um. Persecuted the Christians. Yeah, and he said, um, something about, um. <clears throat> well, he got blinded by an angel. Yes. Which is the one that had the donkey talk to him? Balaam, I think. The point is, Paul was educated. He could read and write. That's what it meant to be educated. There are people that are very are very high level. All right. For instance, you've seen the what do they call them? Savants. Hmm. What's a savant? They're the ones. One of them is is famous because he's in the movie Rain Man. The younger brother takes his older brother that calculates like a calculator. He takes him to Las Vegas and they, I think they win. I was Wait, how does Las Vegas have to do anything with numbers besides the money?
Um, like they have, they have s several games there. One of them is a table where it's the. It oh, spins. it's it's like um, they the the person, he like throws the ball and then the thing spinning and the ball keeps like. And it and lands then, on a number. You know how I know that one? It's um, uh, episode a season I'm watching. Very well. This is uh, world worldly knowledge, right? But from it, apply it. Learn some. Learn two things about that. Most people, when they go to Las Vegas, they lose money. The casinos win. In the movie Rain Man, I believe I haven't seen the whole thing. But I believe he wins. The thing is, it wasn't called Las Vegas. What it was, was it called? called Mars Vegas. Mars? Yeah, Mars Vegas. It's um Futurama. Let me tell you something. You know the cruise ships? Um, Any cruise ship? You've heard yeah. of them? There were some that were called casino ships. Uh, because the state said you cannot gamble in the state of Florida. All right? <laughs> So what did the ships do? They brought the casinos to the ship, but the ship does not allow gambling until they are three miles away from the water or the beach of Florida. <laughs> and then they come back. Does the ship go anywhere? No. It just goes and comes back. But I believe there is gambling now because when the state of Florida, I believe the state of Florida said no to the casinos, but there are Indian reservations in the state of Florida. And what did the Indian reservations say? You can gamble in the Indian reservations. <clears throat> so now we have the general population going to gamble at the Indian reservations. What's uh, reservations? Indian reservations are places where the Indians were forced to live by the government or by the soldiers of the United States. Mm -hmm. Now, these Indians, they used to attack the white people, but the white people took the Indians' Slave. land. Because the Indians weren't powerful enough. They didn't have guns or anything. And so, the Indians were also divided, whereas all the white people had a common enemy, the Indians. They were united, the white people. Uh, Europeans and so on, but even the Spanish, all of the, um, your, all of the people that came from everywhere on ships took the land of the Indians. Did they have, did the, um, the white people have guns? Yes. So the, that's fair for the Indians. So the Indians now are called Native Americans or Native people. Native, I think they even used the word Native peoples. And one thing about the Indians, uh, native people, Navajo, Cherokee, um, pierced nose. They used to pierce their nose and put a uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. earring or something. Well, these, they were forced to live on reservations, which were, it was land. But what was discovered on this land? Oil? Yes. Mm -hmm. So a hundred, uh, that meant that the land was not good for farming, but a hundred years later, the land became valuable because of its oil, because now we use oil, cars and oil.